I have never been good at one single video game in my entire life. Try as I might, I do not have the hand-eye coordination. Hi, kitty. Whoa! I do not have the composure. Oh, no! And everybody that knows me knows this. But what if... I could trick them. If I could hire a professional gamer to sit right next to me on a live stream, just out of frame, I could trick anyone into thinking I'm actually really good at video games. Now I know what you're thinking, oh great, another video where Danny tries to trick his fans. No. In this video, there is only one person I am trying to trick. Three years ago, I was betrayed and embarrassed by my so-called friend, Curtis Connor. In my free time, I consider myself somewhat of an amateur magician. I know several pretty neat card tricks that are very impressive at parties. It's something that's always meant a lot to me, and coincidentally, Curtis too. But while Curtis's magic phase ended when he was but a tween, my continues to this day. So I would sometimes tease him that he gave up on his dreams. Pretty funny, right? Well, Curtis didn't think so. To get back at me, Curtis made a 30 minute long video where he learned a bunch of card tricks that I don't know so he could rub them in my face and ruin my life, basically. I laughed it off at the time, but I was devastated. And I have spent the past three years plotting my revenge. A few months ago on Twitch, Curtis was about to beat the final boss in a Minecraft world he had spent about a year and a half working on. But just before he was about to beat the dragon, he died. Curtis was playing on hardcore mode, which means if you die, you can never play in that world again, and you lose all of your hard work. That hardcore world meant a lot to Curtis, just like magic means a lot to me. So when he sees me beat Minecraft on hardcore mode at a professional level speed, while he couldn't even do it after a year and a half, he's going to know what it feels like to have everything taken away from him. And in the ultimate poetic justice, it's all just gonna be one big magic trick. Now here's the issue. I can't just go live on YouTube one day and be like, hey guys, you know how last time anyone has ever seen me play Minecraft, I was literally terrible at it. I didn't know what I was doing and I could barely win a one-on-one -on -one fight with a zombie. Well, today I'm gonna beat the entire game in 10 minutes. That wouldn't work, it would not be believable, and my entire audience already thinks I'm up to no good anyway. Every time I post any picture on Instagram because I've done videos where I like trick my fans before, all the comments are like, something's up here. It'll be like a just a picture of me running a half marathon and people are like nice try Danny we know what you're up to and if Curtis sees any comments like that on my big speed run live stream that would obviously not be good so what I have to do is plan a series of live streams where I pretend to be practicing speed running Minecraft and that way it plants in people's heads okay he is practicing he's probably getting better even though I probably won't actually be getting better because that's not how my brain works and then when they see me do the big fake speed run live stream they'll be none the wiser. So that's what I'm preparing to do right now. I'm gonna get on live stream and I'm gonna try to speed run Minecraft for the first time. And this should give you a good idea of how bad I actually am at games. Okay, this should give you enough evidence that this is not gonna happen naturally. I'm not just gonna, um, <laughs> I don't know why I said naturally. I'm gonna need to take steroids to speed run Minecraft. Welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining today. Today's a very special day because I'm going to try to speed run Minecraft. The goal of a Minecraft speed run is to kill the Ender Dragon. The fastest anyone has ever done this is seven minutes and 45 seconds. The fastest I have ever done this is two months. In order to get to the Ender Dragon, there are a series of steps you must complete. This is a general list of the steps required. It includes five Fun things like building a portal. How to make nether portal. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I think that was not supposed to happen. And traversing the nether to find resources. Oh, oh, whoa! The farthest I made it during this stream was this step, but I usually ended up right about here. Oh, okay. Real funny, dude. Can you point in the right place, please? Just point at the screen. No, no! I just finished my first practice stream, and I think it went pretty well, honestly. I played through a couple different worlds, and I died. I've seen people do this. Oh, what the fuck? Quite a few times I died, and it was actually genuinely disappointing every time I did. Ooh. Oh! 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 God damn it, dude! Why? 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 
Despite being a giant hit to my ego, the fact that I played so bad during this stream was actually good for a couple reasons. First, the entire stream was very believable and as of right now, nobody suspects a thing. And second, I need to find a Minecraft speedrunning pro. I was planning on just tweeting something after this stream looking for somebody to help me, but apparently I did so bad during this stream that like moths to a flame, the very next day, the speedrunner had come to me. Shortly after the stream ended last night, I got this tweet. It's from this dude named Anthony. Hey Danny, saw you speedrunning Minecraft tonight. Would love to help you improve your speedruns. I'm a former world record holder and have beaten Minecraft the most times ever. Anthony, aka Curryway, is the real deal. He's held several world record speedruns and has tons of videos on his YouTube channel breaking down various speedrunning techniques. If anyone was going to be able to speedrun Minecraft for me, it was this guy. So hopefully I can just DM this dude and ask like, hey, so how badly do you want to help me speedrun Minecraft? Because I have a pretty easy way for you to do it. I'm worried that as a member of the Minecraft speedrunning community, he might not like this idea. Like maybe this is making a mockery of, of speedrunning or something. I don't know. I don't really think it is because it's not like I'm trying to pass off my speedrun as like an actual world record. But I, I there is a little bit of me that's worried in the back of my head that I'm going to DM this dude and he's just going to like reply to this tweet and be like, oh, never mind guys. He's just faking it and I'm not helping it. So do I want to DM him? Yes, I do. So I started crafting a DM to tell him everything and invite him to my house to play Minecraft with me. Wait, should I ask him where he lives? Then I kind of decided that I was coming off a little bit too strong asking a stranger to come to my house to help me commit fraud. And I should probably just get to know this guy a little bit better first. You know what? <laughs> Jesus, I just put so much thought into this. So I deleted all that and decided instead to invite him on stream to teach me how to speed run Minecraft. Okay, yeah, this is good. We'll start off friendly, getting to know each other a little bit. And then once we're friends, then I can do the big reveal and be like, hey, so actually, we're gonna break the law together. You wanna commit fraud with me, Anthony? So on my next quote-unquote practice stream, I got Curryway to come on and give me some tips on how to pull off a successful speedrun. It was awesome. I learned some stuff. I cracked some jokes. So the shape you wanna look for is this L. Um, it's three blocks. Common it's Magma super... Ravine L. Yeah. He even showed me a practice map where I could just practice killing the dragon over and over. And let me tell you, dude, I was doing it. I killed that dragon. I was going crazy on the dragon, man. I was actually going kind of epic gamer style on the dragon. The second practice stream went even better than the first. Everybody's still on board. Nobody thinks I'm faking this. Everything is going extremely according to plan. Except that it might actually be going too well. Yeah, I've uh, I've run into a bit of a wall here, and that's that um, I'm putting in so much practice to do this, and I actually kind of feel like I'm getting good at it, and it kind of seems like I might actually be able to just do it and not fake it. I know I talked a really big game earlier about being bad at video games, and I really am. I'm not good at games, but I don't know, after practicing for like, I guess the four and a half hours total that I have so far, I can actually see a path to me being able to do this on my own. And I've gotten like way more confident with parts of the game that I did not think I would. Last night, killing the dragon like multiple times was a big moment for me. Even though they are like pretend practices that I was doing on stream, I was not pretending to be excited. I was genuinely excited. I'm still, again, not sure if I will be able to. And it is kind of scary filming this part knowing that I could still fail. And then I'll have to like still keep this part in the video but then just go back to plan A and fake it and feel like even more of a failure than I did at the start of this video. But fuck that, man. I, I got this. <laughs> Time to practice. So for the next 30 days, I practiced speedrunning Minecraft every single day. I practiced alone. I practiced on stream. I practiced on a plane and in a hotel. And sure, I died a lot. But all that dying and grinding was worth it because- Wait, why doesn't it look like I'm getting any better? Why am I still dying so much? Holy shit, did I not get any better? The problem with speedrunning is that when you're not fast, you are slow, and so when you die, instead of wasting like five minutes, you've wasted an hour. You've wasted an hour of your time carefully navigating the nether and all other aspects of the Minecraft world, and you're doing a really great job, and you're having fun, and you think you're gonna do it, and then you mine one wrong block, and you get killed by lava, and then you die, and you've wasted an hour of your life trying to beat a game made for children, and you didn't even do a very good job. It would be one thing if 
I was already really fast with it, so it only took like 10 minutes total to speedrun Minecraft. But I spent 45 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half, and then I die. Where is the man who invented Minecraft? Do you ever wonder why we don't see him out in public ever? Is it because he's ashamed of what he's created? Or is he hiding? Hiding from people like me. I fucked up, guys. Well, gang, I was wrong. I actually cannot speedrun Minecraft, no matter how much time I dedicate to it or how much coaching I have from a literal professional. I am inept. The worst part is, Curtis is gonna see this part of the video. Curtis, if you're watching this, skip ahead, dude. All right, don't watch this part. Move it along, buster. There's nothing to see here. So I have two options with what I could do now. I could either A, stop making this video and pretend like it never happened. Hope people forget that I was ever trying to speedrun Minecraft and deny it if they ever ask. You're crazy. I never tried to speedrun Minecraft. And then option number two, I could just... Try to do the fake speed run now, which is what I'm going to do. But that means now I have to send a DM to Curryway and ask him if he'll do this for me. Which I actually am pretty worried that he's not gonna want to because as someone who does this like professionally, as his job, is he gonna wanna like help somebody fake it? I mean, he seems like a nice enough guy though. I think at the very least he would understand. I'm just trying to do a little goof, right? The guy understands jokes, right? I guess we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna draft my message. Please ignore the fact that he's been giving me advice all this time really good advice that I've been trying to follow and still still can do it I guess I have to sort of admit that I I was deceiving him earlier and that when I did my first stream with him I actually didn't intend on ever speed running Minecraft okay all right okay what can I say what can I say what's up dude that's a good start now that's too, that's too cliche um hey dude Boink. And I'm just gonna close Twitter and hope and pray that he receives this well. We'll see what he says. Okay guys, he responded. I haven't opened the message yet, but from the preview of the message, it looks like he's down. Cause I can see it says in the preview of the message, it says I'm 100% down, so. Let's go dude, let me open up the message. Dude, that sounds crazy. It does, cause I'm fucking cra- I'm fucking insane. I'm 100% down, happy to film some stuff on my end as well for you. When were you thinking? Yes dude, let's go. The plan is a go. I will respond in a calm way, so as to not frighten him. So we coordinated plans, I booked his flight, and now the only thing left to do is wait for the big day. And the best part is now, I don't even have to practice. I can just go back to doing all the fun things that I used to do before I ever started this video. Like, like this. Oh man, that looks fun. Okay, it's time. With just two hours before the big stream, there was still a lot of preparation that needed to be done. We planned on streaming for about two hours. The first hour, I would be controlling the game, and when I was ready to be done, I would say the code word, dang nabbit, which would be our cue for me to secretly turn off my mouse and keyboard so Curryway could take control. One of the big challenges during practice was remembering that I was supposed to look like I was controlling the game. I think just sit like that for the stream. <laughs> yeah. I have I this new stream. <laughs> but by far the most difficult thing that we had to get perfect was making Curryway, a professional Minecraft speedrunner, play like somebody who does not know how to speedrun Minecraft. Now, if you see a ship, you have to make it I, very clear with where you're looking oh, okay, that you see so a ship so because... I see that one. Right. Okay, yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> As we were practicing, he kept doing things that I would never in a million years be able to do. Ah! For the record, I would not have done that. You wouldn't have shot back to the gas? <laughs> I probably would have tried to hide in some kind of hole. So for about an hour, Curryway just watched me play and took notes on all of the things I do wrong so that he could also do those things wrong. I have never experienced pressure quite like a professional speedrunner watching me try to speedrun. Would you actually break those blocks like that? <laughs> yeah, I might, yeah. Okay. <laughs> What if, like, playing like me makes you suck so bad that you're never the same Minecraft player again? You know what? It's the risk we're willing to take for content. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to practice not reacting like that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> my chat just hears from off screen. Oh! Sorry guys, there's a ghost in my house. It would be so embarrassing to do this live and for something to fuck up horribly. I'd probably just end the stream. Oh god, yeah, knock on wood right now. Let's do this. Do it. Let's do this. Give me hype, man. Okay. Pretend like I'm not nervous. 
Alive. Maybe it's only obvious to me because I know how I was feeling in this moment, but my voice was so shaky and nervous for the entire stream. All right, everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. <sighs> This is actually kind of embarrassing to watch back how nervous I was. Um, I've been doing a lot of practicing off stream. And honestly, it's been like a lot easier, which is why I haven't streamed in a while. Cause it's really hard to, uh, I kept losing my train of thought and pausing to breathe. A lot of the time I, maybe it was because I was worried about failing in front of thousands of people, or maybe it was cause I could feel Curryway judging me from across the room every time I fucked up. But aside from that, the first half of the stream went off without a hitch. And before I knew it, it was time to make the switch. Dang nabbit, dude. And just like that, the professional was in control. And after resetting the world a few times, he found the perfect seed. Oh, dude, we got a monument in the distance right there. Do you guys see that? Ooh, that's a good looking boat, baby boy. Oh, yes. And for about 15 minutes, things were going great until in the nether, Curryway realized he made a crucial error. I don't know where our home portal is. Which I heard and immediately began to panic. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Do I not know where the portal is? In order to continue with the speed run, it is imperative that we find the portal, but the nether is basically a maze and neither of us seem to have any clue where it was. Oh, wait, he found it? Oh, okay. Yes, dude! No fucking way! Ah! Okay. And after a few short minutes of navigation, I was in the stronghold, I was in the portal, and I was ready to fight the dragon. At this point, I was all nerves. I hadn't read the chat in like 10 minutes. I didn't even know if people were buying this, but I just thought about Curtis's face watching this. And I knew it was time to finish this. And also Curryway knew it was time to finish this. I cannot explain with words what happened in this moment. It's like, even though I knew in my brain, I wasn't in control, in my heart, I was placing those beds. And as the dragon's health got lower and lower, I felt like I was the one doing it. The only way I can describe it is like when a parent is driving the car and they give their baby a fake steering wheel, but the baby still feels like they're driving the car. I'm the baby. I'm not good at video games and I probably never will be. But for a few seconds, I got to find out what it feels like. Dude, what? What the fuck? Curryway had given me a speed run with a final time that, if it were real, would have put me at 37th in the entire world, with not one comment about it being fake. Curtis. Danny. You're probably wondering why I've asked you here today. Yes, I I am. You told me not to even ask you what this was about. Yes, I did, didn't I? You're being kind of, you're actually kind of being a little mean about this whole thing. but Not mean. Yeah, I guess, okay, I guess you weren't. Yeah, I guess I'm wrong. Playfully assertive, I would say. Sure, I'll, I'll go with that too. So do you have any idea what this might be about? I mean... I feel like the last time this happened, I was I was surprising you with magic tricks. <laughs> like the last time we had a surprise Zoom. Okay, that's an interesting guess. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, I just wanted to do this because I had one um, question for you. How's your hardcore world going in Minecraft? Um, just kind of curious. I know it meant a lot to you, and I just was wondering, like, how's it going? <laughs> Okay, so you are being me. <laughs> no. yeah, you're being an asshole by doing that. You don't you really don't know? It would be helpful for you to say just for the for the viewers. I played Minecraft hardcore for fucking months and I tried to beat it and the first time I got to the dragon I died. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what happened. Now I remember. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, so you spent like a year and a half on that world and you didn't even you be, you didn't beat the Ender Dragon? The game isn't about that. I tried to beat it, and the first time I got to the dragon, I died. It's just kind of crazy because I don't know if you saw, but a couple days ago, I started a Minecraft hardcore world, and I beat it in 30 minutes. Impossible. Did you see that at all? I might have seen that. I don't know if that was. I don't know if that was you doing that. Okay, first off, mean. <laughs> okay. You do know I'm like really bad at video games, right? And I did it in 30 minutes. Okay. I don't know what. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what this is about, man. You don't know what this, this is... is about? No. Don't be so coy. Do you remember that I texted you the night that you died in your hardcore world? I do remember that. I forget what you said, but oh wait, were you, you were you were watching, right? Yes, I was watching what? that night. I texted you, and I want to uh, I want you to look back at the conversation. I have a screenshot of it, so I'll send it okay. to you. So go ahead and read that to the audience. I have to go get something real quick, but just read that to the uh, to the camera. Uh, okay. So Danny says no, and then I say I'm gonna kill myself. Danny says I looked away for half a second and looked back, and you were dead. That fucking sucks, dude. And then I said, man, I hate that fucking game. And then. And Danny said, hey man, it's all good. I don't think anyone saw. I think everyone else was looking away too. And I said, okay, thank God. At least I get to play a different game now. And then Danny said, oh nice, you're just gonna give up. Give up on your dreams, Curtis? <laughs> now I actually am gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> don't no. act like you didn't know this was coming. Oh, no. <laughs> don't act like you could just get away with. Was I shirtless under the <laughs> under the? <laughs> I don't think I was. Are you wearing pants? Even not important. Damn it. So Curtis, let me remind you of something. Stop sitting like that. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> You're right. Three years ago, you yeah. posted a video basically humiliating me in front of millions of people. You took okay. one of my greatest passions, magic, and you turned it against me. Well, wait, what is it? Oh, I have it all scripted out here. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what was I going to say? That sort of ruined my sort of villain-esque uh, demeanor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretend I didn't oh, yeah. say that. What was my catchphrase again? Magic was something that we really bonded over, I feel. And you took mm -hmm. it and you turned it against me. So, Curtis, do you know what I did? You beat, you, you beat, you hired, I think, you hired someone to train you to be really good at Minecraft and you beat it in a half hour. No. Okay. Curtis, <laughs> I did a little bit of sleight of hand myself. I did was I, not. <laughs> was I right? <laughs> it wasn't even you. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> no, Curtis, I did not speedrun Minecraft. <laughs> I hired a former world record holding speedrunner to come to my house. You had them come to your house? And I had <laughs> him speedrun Minecraft for me. I can't believe this. So this, this was all <laughs> for the... <laughs> The magic tricks that I did, which you started, by the way. I only did that because you you were making fun of me, saying that I gave up on my dream. I don't know. I, at the end of the day, I'd pretty much consider us even now. Well, what if I told you I was under the desk, under his desk the whole time, <laughs> sucking, sucking his, his dick? <laughs> I guess I don't know what I would think about that. I'd just be confused, I guess. Gotcha. All right, Dan. I think we're even. Is that your? Is that the hat behind you that you... Yeah, it looks like I'm wearing it right now, kind of. Maybe the best way to end this is just by saying, hey, we're both pretty good magicians. It's not a competition. Maybe we both crossed a few lines. But at the end of the day, there's room for two Magician. Magician. All right, I'll, uh, I tip my cap. I tip my cap to you as well. A sign of respect amongst magicians. <laughs>Throughout this video, I've learned a ton about speedrunning Minecraft and how hard it is and how impressive that people like Curryway can actually do it. And I have a huge respect for the speedrunning community. I would definitely recommend you check it out if that's something you think you'd be interested in. Curryway has a ton of videos explaining different speedrunning techniques and analyzing different world record speedruns. So go check him out and thank him for participating in this video. That was super cool of him. Also, if you want to get any of these cool tactical merch designs I've been wearing throughout the video, they are available at dannygonzalez.store. Some of my favorite merch designs that I've ever done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. Go ahead and watch another one of my videos right here, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye